What's up everybody? Hope everyone is having a great Friday so far. I wanted to touch up on the quarterback position for the 2021 class. What is Miami going to do? They're in a very interesting position moving forward. Talia Tagovailoa. I know some people wanted him to come to Miami. Other people were like, no, do not come. He has committed to the University of Maryland. So it's a done deal regarding that matter. Now, Aaron McLaughlin. Another quarterback from the 2021 class who held a University of Miami offered has committed to North Carolina State University. As we all know by now, Demetrius Davis, the number four dual threat quarterback in the nation, according to ESPN, out of Houston, Texas, has decommitted from Virginia Tech. Does Miami pull off the upset? I know Auburn, according to 247 Sports, is the favorite. Miami likes him a lot, so there's a battle right there to land Demetrius Davis. Jalen Milrow, another quarterback out of Texas. He is a hard commit uh, to the University of Texas. Can Miami flip him as well? They're, they're trying to flip Jalen Milrow, and according to Andrew Ivins from his Through the Smoke podcast, he has a good relationship, Jalen Milrow, with De'Ara King. So there's that possible situation. Last but not least, guys, <clears throat> Jake Garcia, please look out for this um, event if it does occur. Miller Moss, okay, he is right now uh, one of the best quarterbacks out of California. He's getting recruited heavily by University of Southern California. If he commits to USC, Jake Garcia might flip his commitment and Miami is back in play. Remember, guys, he came down for a visit when Dan Enos was our OC. He had a little workout with Dan Enos, and it was between Miami, Nebraska, and the University of Southern California. So look out for that. His father did play football at Nebraska as well. But Miami is in a very unique situation regarding quarterbacks. I want to hear your take. Honestly, regarding with all the quarterbacks that are coming in the transfer portal and like very good top quality quarterbacks that we've seen in the past, do you go with a high school quarterback? Do you keep relying on the transfer portal? Or are you confident with the quarterbacks you have in the quarterback room right now. I know some people um, say that they're, they wouldn't be surprised if Nikosi Perry starts for, his, uh, tw for the 2021 season against Alabama. He is a veteran player. Maybe he develops very nicely under Rhett Lashley. So we'll see what happens regarding that matter, but definitely monitor that quarterback position because I always think it's key to bring in at least one high school quarterback in every class. Regarding the transfer portal, Manny Diaz spoke with the media today, and the media asked him, are you going to have another offseason addition? Manny Diaz stated that there is a way to add one more player uh, this offseason from the transfer portal, and I strongly believe that player is Jared Williams' offensive tackle out of the University of Houston. Now, I also heard that Baylor is very interested in uh, Jared Williams as well, so monitor that situation as well, guys. We will see what happens, but I know Miami is pushing for Jared Williams' offensive tackle at the University of Houston. I hope everyone has a great weekend and always all about the U.